Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a guide that I wish I had. It's a bit of a pain and that is how to use the player video component um, with an externally hosted file and we're going to use Amazon S3 to do that. Um, there's many reasons you might want to do that but one thing is um, the Adalo video uploader internally only allows quite a small file size. So you're, um, a lot of people are really going to benefit from this. Um, so let's go to Amazon S3. Of course I've already got an account and um, you are going to have to make an account here. Sign up with your billing details and get to the point where I am when you can sign in and go to the S3 console and I can't really cover that in this video. Um, sign into the console and I'm signing in as a root user. Sign in. Okay and yeah this is the whole AWS management console. We're looking for S3 which I can see here is in my recently visited. So we're going to go here and try to configure a new bucket and get it working correctly. Right, so let's create a bucket. Um, I'm just going to call this test bucket. Mm. What's happened here? Create bucket. Uh, there we go, sorry, that would be copying settings. Uh, bucket name, test bucket, down here. Um, public access, I've got it all unblocked. Um, and Amazon will give you a warning about that. And uh, I, if something, um, if y you may have problems with that, I'm not really sure on the security here. This is just a really quick guide on to getting it working. So please double check if this is going to be a problem for you. Um, it's a basic tutorial. Uh, versioning, not interested. Tags, not important. And I don't think we need this encryption. So let's create a bucket. Yeah, and it doesn't like uppercase characters. Um, okay, a unique name with no uppercase. Create bucket. Okay, so here is uh, our test bucket here and we we need to set some permissions for the bucket this is this is the whole problem people have when they're trying to get resources to play in the player component and we need to have a bucket policy so we're going to edit it here and um, I've got this ready to copy and paste and I will put it in the description so that you can use it okay so now we've got this bucket policy that is going to allow um, the um, mp4 files to be played from here. Um, the first time I tried this I forgot to include previewer.adalo.com and I got stuck on that for a long time but um, of course we want to see the video in the previewer too. Now imagine you're, you've actually published your app you're going to want uh, to change it like your app.adalo.com um, so that it's going to work at that point. Okay, so um, there's our bucket permissions. Let's save that. Um, the policy has an invalid resource. Resource. It's the wrong name. We need the name of this bucket. I imagine that is the problem. Let's see. Yep, so when you copy and paste, make sure you fill in the name of your own bucket or you're going to get a little error like I just did. So here we go, we've got um, our bucket policy and our access right now is public. Like I said, please be careful with that. I'm not making promises. Um, I'm just going to show that we can get this working. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload an object to our bucket here. So objects. Um, let's upload, let's find an mp4 file that I can use as an example, add file. 
duplicate this little video. Okay, and let's press. Yeah, okay, that's all fine. Um, current object. Access control list. Hmm. This is probably what we need to tick. Alright, so I'm going to tick that and go ahead and upload. So I suppose the problem is if if you don't have your access set correctly and it could be public, you could get lots of people access the video and give yourself a big bill with Amazon. Um, again, be careful there. If I find out more, I will um, add a note to the video. All right, so this file is uploaded and we can exit. Um, okay, so let's go to... Um, tweet.mp4 which is a video I'm making um, and we need this object URL should be what we're looking for I'm going to copy that link address go back to our test app um, now we're going to use the player component um, and it's in the marketplace here but I've already installed it so I can just go down here and get the player video component. Um, there's a lot of different options with the player component and I haven't really played with them. Um, here if I replace it with that, video size, again I haven't even changed that. Um, I just leave these and it seems to work. So um, let's give this a go and see if that video plays from the Amazon S3. Nope, not yet. <laughs> okay, let's go back and see what could possibly have gone wrong. Okay, I forgot one more thing we need to do here back on permissions. Um, so we've got the bucket policy here, um, but I didn't do the cross origin resource sharing. This is actually what's giving everyone the problems um <laughs> and why we can't play video so easily on a Darlow. Um, so again, I'm going to copy this in here and um, I will put it in the video description also. Okay, so now <laughs> if I do this cross origin resource sharing and save the changes, we should find that video should work on a Darlow. So let's try it. There we go. Happy, happy. We got there. So uh, it seems really complicated and it stumped me for a while, but it doesn't take too long. So follow the video, check the description, and any questions, let me know. Okay, thanks, guys. See you next time.